Survival craft here. Uh, this is a quick review of a tool I bought recently. Uh, it only cost me about five bucks ship with shipping, and um, normally I wouldn't have purchased it. It was one of these things where I had seen people put it in their their like Altoids survival kits and uh, putting it into their bug out bags, uh, their wallets on YouTube. And, and strangely, it had several good reviews on Amazon, so I was like, you know, okay, I, it, it's interesting, I'll go ahead and purchase it. It is the BCB Mini Work Tool. Now, I'll tell you up front, they're using work quite loosely. This thing is a piece of crap. Um, you know, it's only five bucks, so I, I can't get too mad, but... I hate spending money on on crappy products. I, I really do. And I, I wouldn't normally do a review like this. You know, I'd just ignore it. But the fact that I see so many people putting this in their, their survival kits and, uh, you know, how many good reviews it has on, on Amazon and things... I, I've I've really got to say something, and yeah, this will come off as as a rant, but uh, I don't I don't care. So uh, let's let's go into it. the the only thing really good about this tool is it has a bottle opener. So yeah, that works fine. I already used it. Yeah, okay, but there's there's tons of better, um, actually safer bottle openers out there. Uh, so that's that's the good point. Let me go into all the bad points. Uh, first off, you've got a one and a quarter inch saw there. Now I was thinking, wow, well, what what could you use a saw like that for? Well, okay, yeah, you could probably use it to do something like score bone, uh, so that you can you can break it and make implements out of it. But really. Who the who the hell is going to use a one and a quarter inch saw? Really? So that's useless. Then on this side you have a, a blade, and I I also use blade pretty in you loosely. I mean it's more like a butter knife. Um, it it's not sharp. I doubt it could cut paper. Um, it's <laughs> the see see how how steep that is <laughs> it's crazy and it's only about an inch um yeah it's it's completely useless you've got a can opener here that works okay um it's it's not that great it more mangles a can and the problem is is if you want leverage to open a can look at where you're going to have to put your hand right here on the saw so, um, not, not a good design. Uh, then, you know, in the middle you have a wrench, wrenches, you have a wing nut loosener, and then I think these are supposed to be more smaller wrench holes. Again, completely useless, especially since you have, I was about to say two sharp sides. Really, that thing's not sharp. It's not going to cut anyone, but you at least have one really sharp side. Uh, unless you're wearing gloves, you're not going to be able to get any, you're, you're not going to be able to get your hand on this to put any pressure to actually loosen anything, or else you're going to cut yourself. So, even then, it's such a small tool, I doubt you'd be able to get any, any torque or anything, but, uh, then you have a ruler, a tiny little ruler up here, unmarked. Uh, though I'm sure as small as it is, you could guess it, it. Again, useless. It's so small. You have what seems it's supposed to be a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, but it's so thick that uh, just around here, I'm trying to find all little these little flatheads, and it it won't fit in any of them because it's too thick. So it's just really a pry bar. And then uh, up here you have a place to put a button compass. Now, does anyone see anything wrong with that? Give you a second. 
No? Well, how about this? Compass works by magnetics. So, I'm planning on housing it in a steel frame. Okay? That's going to screw up any type of reading you get from that compass and therefore make these, these indicators useless. And then, you know, to make, to kind of put the nail in the coffin, they, they have a lanyard hole. Now, that's great. It means you could put something through there, hang it off your neck, whatever. But they put it on the wrong friggin' side. They put it on the side with the saw. So, when I take my little sleeve, I want the blade and the saw to be in the sleeve so that I don't cut myself. Oh, yeah, and it comes with this little... Yeah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so it, it doesn't cut my... I don't cut myself. No, I have to turn this out, put it in the sleeve so that the saw blade face, faces outwards, and then I can tie it and hang it around my neck. <sighs> really? Did you not think about that? I mean, nothing on this tool except for that beer bottle opener is designed correctly. And yet, people people all over YouTube say, oh, I keep this in my kit. Oh, it's a great tool. Oh, it's a great little pocket tool. It's a survival tool. It's so cute. You know, bull. Okay? It's worthless. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe if I have a contest sometime, I'll just drop this in there. Just to, I don't know, piss someone else off. Uh, but right now, it's probably just going to be thrown in my closet, and I'll never see it again. So, for those of you who put this, this BCB mini work tool in your kit, throw it away. It is, it is useless. Um, I, I mean, for the, for the same amount of space, I mean, and nearly weight, because this isn't a, this isn't necessarily a super light tool, and it's fairly thick. And with the sleeve, it's even thicker. So, I mean, for the same weight and everything, you could throw a Leatherman Micra in your, in your kit. Much better piece of kit. Um... And interestingly enough, because I got this on special, I paid nearly the same price for this micro as I did that work tool. So, um, yeah, don't do not do it. Find something else. Uh, sorry about this rant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, forgive me. Uh, but hopefully this will keep some people out there from purchasing that and finding out how crappy it truly is. So, have a good one.